Hey Libra, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is going to be your 10 day forecast, July 11th through the 20th for Libra Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. Uh, some of the messages may or may not resonate. That's fine. You can always check your other signs to get more clarity. If you'd like to get a personal reading from me, just click the, uh, one of the links in the description box below. Okay. All right. So Libra, what are the energies for the week of July 11th through the 20th, 10 days Queen of Wands is overall energy, strength. Some of us are dealing with Leos. Nine of Cups, oops, sorry. Two of Cups, the Lovers. What's going on, Libra? And the Empress. Okay. So, male or female? I'm picking up some Queen of Wands. It's fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or um, Leo, okay? This is easy. I don't even need to spend any time on this. Oh, my gosh. There's some major love happening here. Major love. Wishes coming true. Indulgence. I mean, you, you can't make this up. I mean, these cards are beautiful. This is like, I feel like the best reading that's, happened. Let me just, I don't even know, if, I have to clarify because I can't just give you a five minute reading here. Um, of course, it's very general, but you know, we have a um, three major arcanas. This is a, all right, so let's talk a little bit about soulmates. Okay, this two of cups, I actually just did a reading for someone on the Instant Go app and we were on the phone and we were talking about this. And I, I wanted to explain, now there's a lot of different interpretations by many different tarot readers. And from my experience and what I've read, and some may agree, some may not, and that's fine. The Two of Cups, to me, is, is often, you know, it's the beginning. This is like the first card that starts in a long line of cup cards, okay? This is like when two people meet, right? Um, and they realize they have a connection and they're similar to each other. They mirror each other. Okay. Um, and it's a very healing connection. This would not to me be a twin flame connection um, because um, it's too early for that to happen. You know, for my, this is a healing relationship. Okay. The purpose of the two of cups, I always feel if you, you can look and see if you can, I can never get it to focus when I need it to. You can see these two people are, um, he's of course reaching out to take her cup. She's just holding hers there. So this person I feel like is making the first move because his leg is in a position of movement. His arm is in a position of movement. So, and, and then of course, uh, and so the lion is up there too. So this could have some, there's another gesture of Leo. Um, so I feel like this is a, a lesson learning type of a relationship where you meet someone who is just right on the same page as you. This is a meaning of the minds, a meaning of the heart. So I feel like whoever this queen of wands is, male or female, there's going to be some wishy, wishes coming true. I feel there's a lot of strength that will be connecting in this relationship between you and the other person. Now, I am going to pull some clarifying cards. This can also be a new friendship that you meet someone. Either on a date, you become friends, but it blossoms into where both of you decide you want to see each other again. The Ace of Wands, again. I mean, it's just, wow, Libra. I'm just totally wowed. Um, this is a new romance. Um, new inspiration. New partnership coming, forming. Sorry, I need to drink something. Um, I mean, I, this is almost like a path here. I would say like, you know, meeting someone for the first time, maybe if you go on a date, 
This can also be you and another person renewing love, renewing a connection that you have. Um, and there's growth. When you look at this Ace of Wands, do you see all the all the foliage growing here? You know, this is a this is new growth, a new beginning of some sort. And this can also be a very phallus symbol too. So this could be a very a huge sexual attraction between you and, and the other person. But it's almost like it's striving in the direction where, you know, this is a wish come true for you. This meeting this person. This is something you've been waiting for. And then, you know, making the decision this person may want to have children or start a family, you may want to, and you're seeing yourself being able to uh, have this with this particular person, like all signs are go. It's like, a, it's a good connection is how I feel. You're meeting your soulmate, or could be meeting your soulmate this, this in these 10 days, in the middle of July. So the lover's card is here. It's the right decision to see this person again. It's the right decision to move forward with this person. Okay, things balance out. There's nothing but truth here and honesty with this connection with this person. I feel this person is above board. They're honest. You, this person, they could be, um, <clears throat> my throat is so dry. They could be, uh, they work, maybe they work in the legal system, could be a policeman, investigator, lawyer, uh, judge, um, administrator of some sort. These are just a few job descriptions. They could be anybody. It could be a trash collector, but this, this person is in a position of, um, making decisions big decisions. So even if he works in the garbage department, he could be the boss, but he's in charge of making decisions and, and honor and truth and things like that. What fell out here? Oh my goodness. Come on, Li Libra. Yours, your reading should be the reading for everybody. Ten of pentacles here. I'm seeing a very stable family situation that, that can occur here with this person or this renewal of this relationship with someone reconnecting with someone bringing you stability financial stability a happy home you know like a a that in other words like that financial stability brings that that um you know, like you can come home and, and the bills are paid and there's food in the fridge and you have money for vacations and you can, there's, there's enough here to, for growth, to begin a family or to have something new. You know, when you look at this card, you can see you've got, you know, that you've got the grandfather and then you've got two people and then a child. This is like a hopeful situation moving into a home. Uh, that kind of situation happening. Libra, like your reading just can't get any better. I'm so happy for that. And, you know, uh, of course, you know, this could just be like, you could literally meet someone and then all the, all this stuff just keeps running through your head. Like, oh my gosh, I've met the one or, the, or you know, we've straightened things out. We're going to move forward. Things are going to be great. Um, and it may not happen in those 10 days. It might come later, you know, so like, don't get your hopes up and then say, you know, but do go on dates or do reach out to your partner and try to connect with them on, on the same level. Like both of you get on the same level. And I feel like if that were to come about, there could be like this whole wonderful thing happen. Yeah. This, this queen of wands here, this, this is a shock for you, this person, whatever's coming through from them or whatever's happening. It's, it's like, wow, it's, it has a huge wow factor. A lot of people always say, oh, the tower card is so bad, but it's not necessarily, it's no different than the death card in the sense that, you know, it brings change. It's just that the tower card has shock value to it, you know, and the old things get destroyed. So there's new room for, um, birth and re and growth. And when, whatever was happening in your life that was on a uh, very shaky ground needed to be shook up. 
look, you're just getting nothing but great cards. There's There will be messages coming through. Okay, this is like major changes, which is the tower card. It could be air travel. Somebody could be traveling to come see you. Maybe you've been talking to someone for a long time over the internet or online, and now they're going to come and see you. And it's just like a shock, like, wow, you know, wow, we're actually going to meet. And now things are just going to just go so well, so beautifully. This And and you may get messages that this person is telling you they're, you know, they, they're reaching out. They want to come meet you. They want to see you. You know, if you, maybe you've been on the dating sites and things like that. And this person turns out to be the real deal. So let's pull a card for love advice for, um, from the angel oracle, romance angel oracle deck. What is your uh, love advice? <laughs> I said to myself, I'm going to pull a card and it's just going to destroy the whole reading. Okay, look, this is separation. Now, tell me why you have this card. So this is going to be for some of you. Um, first of all, here's the thing, right? All this, all this, this reading is so magical and so wonderful. So here's what I want to say. Try not to get too attached to the outcome of this reading. Okay, because if this doesn't happen, you're just going to be so devastated. Okay, and remember, this is a general reading. Um, all you have to do, I know everybody just, look, here's the thing. If you're, if you're trying to make something work with someone or you're waiting for, uh, or you want to meet someone, but you're not doing any footwork to get yourself out there to meet people, you're just waiting for the universe to bring someone to you. Well, yeah, you know what? Sometimes that happens. But, you know, there's other times where you actually, like, you're not going to get paid for a job if you don't go to work. So try not to get yourself in a position, try to separate yourself from the outcome um, and just do what you need to do right? So go out on your dates, or if you're with someone already, and you want to renew this relationship or try to make things better with them, allow them to um, allow yourself to get on the same page with that person and allow them to get on the same page with you. Okay. So there is work that of course always has to be done. Now, some of you could be separating from um, a partner and meeting someone else. Okay. And so if you're cross watching about someone you love who left you and they're meeting someone else, it doesn't necessarily mean this is for you. Um, if you are cross watching, you may need to separate yourself from this person who left you for your own sanity and for your own good. Um, <clears throat> I also feel like, uh, this person too could be separating from their significant other. Uh, finally, for some of you who could have been waiting for that, they could finally be doing it. Okay. Um, so yeah, I just kind of feel like, and I'm also picking up that separation could also come in the sense where you and your partner need to separate together. Okay. Or you and this other person need to separate together. Okay. There's a lot of different ways to interpret those messages. So take with you what works for you and throw away what doesn't. And if you feel like uh, you, you're sad about this reading because you're cross watching for a Libra who you love, who um, you don't feel um, who you want them to come back. Um, try not to focus too much on this because this reading, this may not even be for them. Okay. It's very general, like I said, and, um, I would always encourage anyone instead of spending the next 10 days being upset by a general reading, request a personal reading from me, and then we can deal with what's actually going on with you and to get the real heart of the matter. Cause we'll have more information. Okay. So, um, I'm going to end your reading there, Libra. Congratulations on such a great reading. And, uh, I will see you at the end of the month. Okay. Bye.